Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Walmart Bank declines to reverse fraudulent charges. Hello everyone. This is financial author Amit Dunn of AmitDunn.com. Today I'll be talking about a news that caught my attention because if you have been watching my channel you know that my credit card was scammed or hacked and there were fraudulent charges. So th there is this news which caught my attention and I'd like to talk about that and then I'll give you some tips on how to protect yourself from scammers or hackers to uh, safeguard your credit cards. So the way scammers got a hold of my credit card information was uh, they, broke, uh, they broke into the credit card processing system or somehow the merchant system because I didn't lose my credit card and uh, I had that credit card with me but then I found out that there were transactions uh, that were made from Malaysia, uh, the large transactions for example there Expedia Malaysia vacation and there is an airline ticket from uh, Malaysia foreign Malaysian uh, airline and there were smaller uh, PayPal charges uh, made uh, into my credit card using the information but the news that caught my attention is slightly different than mine uh, this couple from Winnipeg they went to Cancun Mexico for a vacation and they did uh, some groceries and they visited a local Walmart and on their way back to the hotel they found out that uh, they got pickpocketed, pickpocketed and the credit cards were lost so they managed to call uh, the Walmart uh, Bank of Canada which was issued uh, them a MasterCard that, that got pickpocketed and since then Walmart, Walmart Canada Bank has been declining them to reverse uh, $6,600 fraudulent charges. According to the Walmart Canada Bank, uh, the hackers or the uh, thieves had their PIN number or had uh, the person's PIN number and once uh, they use the PIN number, it is not credit card company's responsibility to refund, refund fraudulent charges. Now this uh, clause or whatever they're using to not to pay or not to reverse those charges is ridiculous. If you, uh, the best thing you can do, read your credit card agreement and somewhere if it says that if the thieves uh, use your pin number then you are not liable then you're liable for those charges the credit card company is not liable the reason this is ridiculous because it's very easy to uh, get a hold of someone's pin number for example there are high-tech devices that can uh, copy your pin number when you use your card at an ATM or at a store uh, this machine is called shimmer so what is this that this is a very tiny microchip kind of machine and it can be inserted underneath uh, the layer of the bank machine or the store uh, machine and then whenever you're using your credit card with your pin number it records everything including your password another way thieves can get a hold of uh, the pin number is that they have uh, cameras set up uh, from it could be right uh, above the ATM machine or somewhere from a distance Which gives them a very good shot of what pin number you are inputting and then also they can see the credit card information and everything and Then that's the way they get a hold of the pin number and all your information to copy those information to make fraudulent charges so this char this uh, declining uh, not paying uh, this couple of uh, six thousand six hundred dollars fraudulent charges is totally ridiculous because if you're issuing credit card then you should provide the support and service uh, when someone gets hacked or schemed and lost their credit card and their fraudulent charges so in order to for you to protect yourself I'd recommend doing a few simple things uh, the first thing if you're traveling carry a credit card with a lower balance uh, or lower availability do not uh, take with you a credit card that has let's say lots of uh, available uh, limit for example five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand dollars 
take something with you which has uh, below $1,000 or below $500 uh, you can use uh, prepaid cards uh, with a very lower balance available and if you have to take uh, cards with higher balance then you can leave them at your hotel locker or hotel safe deposit box and then just take the lower balance card with you then another thing you can do is to set up uh, alert for your credit cards uh, for example above uh, a certain limit which could be which could be hundred dollars or fifty dollars uh, you should get an email alert or text alert letting you know that uh, there have been these charges and then so you know that you know what's going on and then another way you can uh, protect yourself is to uh, set up uh, a vacation alert on your credit cards by calling either the credit card companies or setting it up online although most of the credit cards are getting rid of the system right now they they may, they say that uh, the fraud detection system does not require vacation alert anymore however check with your credit card if they still offer that feature and if, if they do then you know tell them that you know for from this date to this date you're going to be visiting this country and you're not expecting more charges than this much amount for example five hundred dollars or one thousand dollars so that way your credit cards will be flagged right away uh, when you lose them and when someone tries to make uh, charges uh, so that's another way so coming back to this couple from Winnipeg I hope uh, they are able to get their money back uh, by the credit card companies uh, I believe they're pursuing uh, a legal action or they should be pursuing legal action uh, for against these banks because you know they are liable for the fraudulent charges uh, because if you are issuing a credit card company then you have to give full protection and you have to provide full service and you shouldn't be you know turned away from uh, reversing charges when time comes and again uh, make, make uh, be careful about which credit cards you use go through the terms and agreements and read reviews online or try to find out how is that credit card company in terms of paying or reversing fraudulent charges there are some credit card companies which are bad there are some credit card companies which are good I do have some videos on my channel about uh, some of these uh, companies so if you uh, go through them you will find valuable information and in the future I'll provide more information uh, to keep you protected and to keep you informed thank you for watching if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing thank you